it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is the Need for Speed on the 3DO. I already had a video of this on my channel up until last night, but YouTube copyright rules, policy, whatever, being what it's about to be, I had cutscenes on that video, and uh, they're a bit of a no-no, so I deleted it, and well, it's just such a damn good game, I couldn't leave it at that. So here we are again. This is absolutely my favourite Need for Speed game. Um, I played this on the 3DO way back in the late 90s, mid 90s even maybe, um, and loved it. It was at that point, oh crap, it was the best driving game I'd ever played. Certainly on a uh, visual level and the physics of it. Or at least the best one I played on a home system anyway. And I was actually really gutted when it came out on the PS1 and was not anything like this. It just wasn't, it didn't have the weight. That's what this has got, it's got weight. It feels brilliant, it's not, you don't feel off, it's not all floaty like you get on some games. There's copper. So yeah, I've never found a th Need for Speed game that I like half as much as this. I, I don't even bother with the uh, the modern ones. Um, I, I played this back in the day. I got the PS1 game, and then I played Need for Speed 2 on the PS1, and I just didn't like it, and that was it. I, I never touched Need for Speed again until Need for Speed Shift, is it Shift? What's it called? I've got it here on the shelf and I can't remember what it's called. And I'm looking at the shelf and not looking at the road, trying to see where have I put it. I can't see it. Yes, shift. And I don't like it. I saw videos of it and I thought, that looks brilliant. Or more specifically, that sounds brilliant. All the, the sounds of the car and everything, it just sounded bloody awesome. But uh, the game wasn't what I wanted. It was all silly little missions and things. And if you didn't complete a, a, a thing, an objective, you didn't get to continue. And that's pissy and I didn't like it. So that doesn't get played anymore. Um, oops. Oops. Oh dear. Come on, come on. How do we reverse them? I'm going to get nicked, aren't I? This isn't the view I want, though uh, I suppose it's, oh dear, go away, oh is he in front of me, okay fine, I'd actually forgotten what it's like to uh, play this view, don't wanna, I love first person views, it's just like driving my little Fiat, <clears throat> yeah, this is that road, this is that road that, oh god, reminds me of a road in between Toaster and Northampton that I didn't get to oh crap, oh crap I didn't get, oh bloody hell I didn't get to check it out when I went to Toaster earlier this year, it was in June I, I saw the start of it I was like standing at the end of that road thinking, I just want to go and drive down this but I didn't have time oh god so I've got an opponent in this game somewhere but I don't know where he is he's, he's shot off miles ahead of me I'm guessing that beat, oh god, oh dear. Go away, go away. You can sod right off mate, I ain't pulling over for you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what it is about this. Ooh. I just love it. It's graphically, it's it's simplistic now, but back in the day, 
I don't know, was it good back in the day? Ooh! God, I'm not doing really well at this. But, uh, what's unusual about that? <laughs> not much. I am using manual gears, as you would expect. Ooh. That was me, this morning, overtaking a bus. It was parked. Actually, I wasn't nearly as uh, frightening as that. It's quite a safe manoeuvre, but, you know, it's the nearest you get to it. I'm not big on overtaking. It's not... O overtaking generally isn't a factor when your car has a 900cc engine. Oh, yeah. I thought he was going to throw it down the ravine or whatever that is down there. Okay, here we are on the coastal road. So, by default, this game has music playing in the background. I've turned that off. And at the start and end of races, you've got this annoying person, we'll call him that, an actor, a live actor, uh, just basically being a dick. He, he's uh, trash-talking, as uh, they call it in some sectors. I would just call it being a dick. Um, he, he just talks a load of shit at you and you want to punch him in the face. Well, I've turned that off as well because, you know, cut scenes and all that. So, uh, it's significantly better without him. I, I don't enjoy people being dicks, basically. I, I don't like it in the real world. I don't like it in video games. It's why I don't really watch WWE wrestling anymore because it's more about being a dick than it is about wrestling these days. I mean, there are whole shows where they do nothing but talk a load of shite and it's like you're sitting there waiting for half the program just for a leading wrestling match. So I don't watch it. Maybe it's not like that anymore. But it was last time I watched. That's when I stopped. Yeah. So, uh... The moral of this story is... If you don't want to piss me off, don't be a dick. But I mean, isn't that the same with everyone? Here we go, here's a copper. Uh, being a dick. I should give, give this video the subheading. Need for speed. Being a dick. Go for, no, don't, don't, don't stop. Don't, oh, you bugger. Stop being a law-abiding citizen. Thank you, officer. I won't do it again. For about five minutes. So here we are, Coast Road. Near Scarborough, maybe. Actually, it feels more like... It feels more like Brighton. We're heading up... We're heading to Rottingdean. Yeah. I stayed in Rottingdean. In a... Was it... Was it called the White Horse? Or was it something else? The White Swan? I can't remember. It's that hotel... Stroke pub. Right on the edge of... Something. It's... Oh, crap. It was a nice place. I liked it. It had a really nice smell. <laughs> it just it did. It's, I think they've got one of those um, three volution. What's it? You know the air fresheners that you plug into the wall, and you've got three different smells. And um, it just—I don't know which one it was they'd got, but it smelled really nice, and I liked it. And every time I smell that smell anywhere else, it reminds me of that hotel. The Cock Hotel in Stony Stratford smells similar, actually, and you would expect that because uh, it, it seems to be a corporate thing. There, is it Britannia? I think they might. They're either Britannia or Old English Inns. I think it's Old English Inns, actually. They all seem to have that smell. It is Old English Inns. I probably ought to use the brakes instead of knocking it down a gear if I want to slow down. just great. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how it comes across when you're just watching it on video. But, uh, oh dear. No, no, do not come past me, you 
bastard. Put it back on the road. Oh, you bird. Fine. Give me another ticket, bastard. So there we are. I got pulled over by Mr. Policeman and he had his shotgun out. That's not a euphemism. He had a shotgun. And he sent me to prison for being a naughty boy, bastard. There was a cutscene, obviously. I've edited that out. You didn't see the bit where I beat him to a bloody pulp because I didn't like his hat. It's what happened, honest. You'll just have to trust me. Oh. I'm driving a Porsche 911 for anyone who's interested. For anyone who like hasn't seen there, see, clearly that green oh, oh dear. Oh nice! <laughs> Come on. Well, that's just um, my parking style. It's how everyone does it, isn't it? See a parking space or empty section of motorway and do a somersault into the space. That's how it's done. In it. Now, can I give you a lift into town? Ah, oh, bugger off. I love how the uh, the dials and everything. I mean, it's all. I assume this is what a 911 looked like on the inside back in the day. But somehow. On modern games, I find the internal view distracting. It's like the, the A pillar always gets in the way, and that just pisses me off. I would use internal views a lot more if they didn't have a bloody great big A pillar in the way. And I know it's more realistic like that, but I just don't care. I, I, I don't want that there. It's bad enough having it there in the real world, and you're sitting there craning your head, trying to look around the A pillar to see if you're going to run over a pedestrian as you turn into a junction. But... You don't want it, oh god, you, you, oh god, you just don't want it on your video games, because you can't move your head to look around it, so, yeah. And this hasn't got them, so I, I like the internal view. On things like Gran Turismo, I don't use the internal view, I, I go first person, but it's like bumper cam or whatever, bonnet cam, something like that. But if it had an internal view like this, I would use it, because this is great. Oh boy. Oh, oh, ass. I don't know where the other guy is. Almost certainly ahead of me, probably. Who cares? It, it, it's funny, it doesn't even matter. I mean, yeah, I'm racing someone else, in theory, but it just doesn't matter. I don't care if he's in front or behind or, or whatever. There's just pleasure to be had in bombing along, I did say bombing, um, with a load of normal everyday traffic getting in your way and generally causing you to crash. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's a copper. Oops. It wasn't me. The sign leapt out in front of me. I couldn't help it. Aliens made me do it. Ooh, you bastard. There you go. Those are the three circuits that you get on here. It might seem a bit limited now, but back then it was epic. That is Need for Speed on the 3DO. I love it. It's my favourite Need for Speed game. It's my second favourite 3DO game. Actually, it might be my favourite 3DO because, like, Road Rash is up there as well, but you can get a very similar rendition, uh, version, something, of Road Rash on, like, the PS1 and Saturn and stuff. 
this on consoles, this is the only one that's like this. You get it on the PS1 and it just ain't the same. This is awesome and brilliant and it is the must buy game for the 3DO. And in fact you should buy a 3DO just to play this game. Really? There I am telling you what you should do when I won't stand anyone telling me what I should do. So you should ignore me. And there I go again. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up button. I upload videos daily, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. To all those who've already subscribed, I'd just like to say a great big thank you.